but I think we're ready to go. Uh, so, Steve, um, yeah, great to see you. We would have liked to be in person, Mark, but of course, we're uh, abiding by uh, Dr. Bonnie Henry's orders. We're glad you're with us as well. And you can think as much as you want about what each of us are are wearing below the actual screen level. <laughs> you know, where you were at, but we're not going to, that's going to remain a secret. So, unfortunately, we can't let you in on that. Uh, as you mentioned, we have a couple of special guests joining us today. So, Mark and I are going to roll through these. Uh, our CEO of the Center for Child Development, Mr. Gerard Bremont. Gerard, hi. Uh, thank you very much again, Mark, uh, Steve, for hosting us. How did the children receive services and stay safe through this past year? Uh, you know, right away, uh, we were looking at how we could offer services in a virtual environment. By mid-March, we had made the transition decision to move to telehealth to protect our children and families. Uh, we began some fundraising, and we were fortunate to have the generosity of the provincial government and of the Berezin family and Surrey Cares Foundation that stepped forward with other donors to help us provide uh, virtual telehealth services right away. But we still had on-site services that we had to provide in person. There's just no way around it. And those types of things like our daycare, because we were deemed an essential service, and rightly so for families, and there are some critical therapies that we provided on site uh, where we just couldn't do it any other way. Uh, things like a wheelchair adjustment. How can people help and continue to help, Gerard? Well, biggest way, and thank you so much for showing up tonight and being part of this event and for all your support. I want to give a little bit of a shout out in relation to those areas of need to our presenting sponsor, the Nanji Family Foundation, uh, really uh, as our presenting sponsor tonight is really helping make this possible. But a really big thanks to Mark and Steve. Uh, they've been with us through several of these galas and really making them shine. And thanks for making it shine tonight, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Pleasure to be here. And I know, Steve, you agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, there's so much stuff happening tonight as well, Mark. You know, I, I find funny. It's uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all the people on the side and all the names that everyone's in and everyone's pumping in and everything, except for there's one weird one. It's Sexy Guy 22. I was going to go hover over and sit. Oh, that's you, Mark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that was your hand. Okay, sorry. Okay. okay and that's, is that, is the 22 my age, obviously, that's, right, Steve? That's, that's right. That's exactly, that's exactly it. This is a wonderful dinner uh, with both of us. Now, Mark is the, is the marquee guest. I'm the pro in of this whole thing. So uh, you'll get Mark, a uh, big superstar television guy. Mark Rodrigo will be there. Uh, I'll be there, more than likely just carrying some of his dishes, which will be perfect. We used to go to the P and E uh, a lot and do uh, uh, do some appearances and do the weather and sometimes the news out at the P and E. Sure. And sometimes we'd look and see some. Uh, I'd look and see a lineup, and I thought it was for the roller coaster or one of the popular rides. But then I looked, and that lineup was stretched all the way out to Abbotsford and I think Chilliwack. <laughs> sometimes that was the lineup for autographs for Steve Darling. So right, just yeah. so you know, just so you know how popular that guy is. I have, of, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of relatives, you know. So Steve Stu, you know, he, he gave me a call. And he said, "Look, oh, we're so excited you're gonna. Why don't you come the day before?" And I said, "Really?" <laughs> I said, "That's amazing." I go, "We'll spend some time because he goes, we actually need someone to clean. So I'm gonna be there the day before. He's giving me a nice vacuum, uh, and so I'm gonna sort of get everything ready for you to get there, Mark. So there you go. So I'm excited about that. So I actually get two days at it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll help you out, Steve. I'll do the vacuuming. We want to talk about uh, about sponsors. Gerard told me that when he called all the sponsors, it was a, we're in. That's just the way it is. We're happy to do it uh, because they understand how important it is to take the money that we're going to raise and put it into the center in Sophie's place. So we want to thank off, first mm -hmm. of all, our presenting sponsor, the Nanji Family Foundation. Uh, we cannot thank you enough for all of your work. We appreciate it. And thank you very much for being our presenting sponsor. Absolutely. Okay, I'll do the gold sponsor, Steve. It's the Arnold and Anita Silver Family Foundation and the Surrey Firefighters Charitable Society. Those also, also our silver sponsors, Avision Financial, a division of First West Credit Union, GNF Financial Group, and the Javid Mofagian Foundation as well. All right, I'll cover a few more here. The bronze sponsors are B&B &B Contra uh, Contracting Group and Century Group. And the Hope sponsors, Beach West Guard, Ram Construction, uh, Hans Trucking, Coast Capital Savings, CIBC, and Surrey Now Leader Newspaper. Steve? We also want to thank the Canadian men because they're the sponsor of Mark's Ego tonight. So thank you very much. We're so happy that they're part of it. <laughs> My name's Khalil Mlani, uh, and I'm just so happy to be here today representing my grandmother and grandfather who started the Gulshan and Charlie G. Nanji Foundation 
a number of years ago. My grandparents, of course, along with my parents, came to Canada in 1972 as refugees. And Canada so generously opened its doors to my family. And we've always vowed to give back to the community the moment we were reestablished. This event is uniquely special to me. I personally grew up in North Delta and supporting local charities that have such a huge impact in our community is, a, is particularly meaningful to me. I know many families that have benefited from the services that the center provides. And as I learn more and more about this cause, I am just simply amazed at the amazing work that people do here. I want to thank all the volunteers for, this, for, the, for putting on this virtual event. And of course, thank you for letting my family be part of it. Amazing, uh, Khalil. Thank you so much. Uh, when you turn your video off, it was perfect. You can shut it back on right now if you want to, just as we wrap up here. But uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, as you know, I grew, up in, I grew up in North Delta, so um, I'm happy to hear about that for you. And and um, you seem to obviously get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a wonderful joy about about giving. Would that be fair to say? Absolutely. I love my family. I love participating in this cause every year. It's a highlight, uh, highlight of the year for us. Well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And thank your family as well for us. Uh, it, it means the world to a lot of families in British Columbia and a lot of families at the Centre in Sylvie's Place. So thank you very much. Uh, very, very uh, happy to introduce Graham. Graham Wardell. Graham, how are you? I'm good. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me here. I feel so blessed and honoured to be with you guys supporting the Center for Child Development and Sophie's Place. Um, over the past year, I've been raising funds on an app called Cameo, where I make uh, birthday shout outs and anniversary shout outs and just little videos for people. And I've been collecting all the money for Sophie's Place. And so far, we've, we've raised $26,000 for you guys. And I feel so blessed and honored of all the generosity that people have contributed even tips and stuff after they've already paid me for the video and stuff for my website they give me tips and extra money just to give to you guys they're so inspired by the work you do it's just like me and i feel so blessed to have so many supporters from all over the world which i think a few of them are actually here with us tonight i think leslie um and Lori are with us uh which is great so i want to say hello to them and also i want to say a special thank you to a woman named dominica ligorio she's from france and she gave me over $4,000, paid for stuff off my website, and never didn't want it. She just said, keep it. I want to give this money to Sophie's Place. So I was so touched by that, the generosity that people have uh, to contribute to this wonderful cause and all the work that you guys do. So thank you for having me here. I, I appreciate it. And I wish you guys all the best in the coming years and much more success for all the work that you do. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Sure appreciate it. And that's really incredible. What a generous, a generous guy you are. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> Just saying. I go, remember when my kids thought you were a big deal? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was years and years ago. I was probably Graham. I was Graham's age then. That's right. <laughs> Our keynote speaker, uh, Amanda Toynbee. Thank you all for having me here tonight as your parent speaker. Um, excited to share our daughter Kira's story with all of you. Uh, over the years, uh, the center has become a second home for us. Um, it's always been a place of support and love and kindness from everybody there. We cannot wait to walk back through those doors and give our hugs and give our thanks to all of those that have supported us over the past five and a half years. Um, it'll always be a special place in our, in our hearts. Uh, to give a bit of background history, um, our daughter, Kira, uh, she'd only been home from the NICU uh, at Women and Children's for about a week when we started there. Within the first three days of being home, we got a call from the center and they said, okay, we're going to see you in a few days and we're going to get started with you. They met with us and they took the time to get to know us, to get to know our concerns. I felt the love there and the support that we would have. Looking back at the little splints that were shown, Kira was one that one of the youngest ever um, hand splints were made for her at the center. She was three and a half months old because of her hands needed to be stretched out. And I'm happy to say now, as you can see from the pictures, she can use her hands and her fingers and she's just like any other kid out there just trying to get into everything like everybody does we've also we've we've been able to use so much of the center of services the pool is always a favorite of ours we got to use the daycare we were in preschool um kira also did speech therapy through there kira wouldn't be the girl she is today if 
it worked for all of her therapists at the Center for Child Development and the daycare and the preschool programs. Such an amazing place. And I just feel so fortunate that we got to spend our first five years there with them um, helping to support Kira. They were really there for us. I feel that they were their friends. They will forever be in our heart. They were there as much for me and my husband and our oldest daughter to help support us and just listen to us. And it just, it felt like family. Thank you to all the sponsors and to everybody out there that supports the Center for Child Development. Um, thanks to you all, our daughter and so many other children at the center are able to reach their potential and give so many of us parents so much help. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And it is stories like yours that, that are what it's all about. We thank everybody for your ongoing support over the years. Let's see where we are so far. Thanks to all of you out there. Total race to date is... Oh. Wow! Oh, one hundred thirty thousand dollars. Nice, amazing. Mary and Tony Martin. Uh, we want to thank Sandra Dick, uh, Derek Watts, and Steve Baker. Also, Lori Lecayur, New Great Lands, and James Stewart. Thank you so much. As I mentioned, they were ready to jump in right off the bat and support this. So it's truly an incredible experience. And they're all realizing how much help. Just listen to Kira's story. I mean, that alone tells you why sponsoring yeah. an event like this makes such a huge difference in someone's life. So we, we can't thank you. And then Graham Wardle, who's, you know, on his doing it on his own on his own website <laughs> and stuff and, and making a donation like he did today. That's what I as we've talked about in the past, Mark, those are the magic moments we love so much of. Yeah, we, we've been a part of, uh, well, many of these uh, galas. Uh, this is a different one, of course, this year, doing it this way. But it's always such a wonderful night uh, raising money. And we're going to, again, try to get back there next year for uh, for the, the real gala. But uh, it's been a real pleasure to be here tonight. Any other uh, words from anybody in the on the team there, uh, Gerard? Gerard, uh, just uh, pipe in and say, you know, look, thanks so much, Mark. Thank you so much, Steve, for hosting us. I wanted to thank Amanda. So tremendous, Amanda. Thank you on behalf of everyone. Thank you, Graham, for your great support. Thank you, Khalil, for speaking and uh, on behalf of your family. Thank you, everyone. We sure appreciate Thank you. Thanks for your support. Have a great night, everyone.